Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I was an artist and animator for Late Night with Conan O'Brien for 15 years. This tutorial is meant for those who are first learning Photoshop. It will show you step by step of how I created the layers in Photoshop for If They Made It. Please check out my channel on YouTube. It includes the overview tutorial of an actual meld for If They Made It, as well as great Photoshop tips, tricks, and tests. Okay, so we're going to be working on two celebrities. We'll be doing Miley Cyrus and Taylor Lautner. So what we're going to do is to create a new document. So we're going to hit File, New, and we're going to title this Mated. Make sure that it's 16 by 9 ratio. Uh, right now we're using 1280 width and 720 in height, 72 pixels in resolution. And we'll hit OK. Now what we're going to do is to drag the two celebrities into the document. So we'll click on Miley, click down, drag it up into the mated tab and then drag it down and let go. I'm going to do the same thing with Taylor. Click on the Taylor tab, click down, drag up into the mated tab, drag it down and let your mouse go. So now we have both celebrities in the document. Now that we have them as separate layers, we're going to put them into a folder. We're going to open up the New Group tab and type in Original Size and then click OK. We're going to take these two and drag it up into the folder that says Original Size. What we're going to do is duplicate the folder. Okay, so we want to find the center of the overall page. So we're going to duplicate the background by dragging it down to the new layer icon. And then we're going to transform and scale. We notice in the middle of the page there's a little mark there, a little uh, circle with a cross in it. We're going to drag out from the ruler, press down and drag, and it's going to click right on top of it. Uh, we know it's going to click because your snap is checked. Snap 2 has guides, layers, and document bounds checked. Now we're not going to really need the transform anymore, so we're going to click the do not apply. The center line remains. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a vertical line right over the center to separate the two celebrities. So we're going to drag it out and we're going to click right on the middle. We're going to create a new layer. And then we're going to stroke the vertical selection. We'll make the stroke 8 pixels wide make the color gray and we'll press OK. OK, we're going to drag that layer to the very top. Just drag it right to the top and press down on control and click the thumbnail at the same time. This creates a selection around the gray line. Uh, you're going to want to see the quick mask so you're going to cl click the Q, letter Q to see the quick mask, which will turn red. And now you want to go into the paint bucket. Make sure your paint bucket is selected, which it is, and then click on one of the sides, the left side for right now, because that's where Miley is going to be. On the right side, you can see that's going to be open. Now what we want to do is we want to make this quick mask into a selection again so we can apply it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the little icon on the left which is the quick mask button and we're going to click on Miley. Click on the layer mask icon 
and you'll see the quick mask appear next to her. We're going to do the same thing to Taylor now. So you click, control click on the thumbnail, which makes the selection of the gray line. And we're going to click on that uh, quick mask icon on the left. The line will turn red. We have our paint bucket already on our pen or mouse, so we filled it in. Click on the quick mask. Clicked on Taylor. Go down to the quick mask icon and click it. And now you have a quick mask for Taylor. We're going to drag out the layer palette so we can see everything we're doing. By the way, when I mentioned pen earlier, I am using a Wacom tablet that uh, comes with a pen. I like it better than a mouse, but many, many people prefer the mouse uh, more. It's a personal preference. Okay, so what we're going to do is rename the top layer. We're going to call it Gray Line. That's going to separate Miley from Taylor. And then what we're going to do is unlock Miley and Taylor from their layer masks so we can move around the faces but not the masks. We're going to size Miley now. So click on Miley and hit Control T, which activates the transform. Or we can go into Edit, Transform, Scale. But we want to see the entire image of Miley in order to scale it down. So we want to hit View and then Fit to Screen. Now we can actually see how large the photo is because the four corners, that rule line, represents the entire size. What we want to do is we want to bring it down to size and when we're happy with it, uh, what we'll do is we'll basically click enter and it'll lock it into place. We're going to duplicate most of those actions with Taylor. Click on Taylor, hit Control T, or go into Edit, Transform, and Scale. Grab one of the corners and move it, move it down to the size that you're happy with. It should pretty much match the size of Miley. Now, if you're not happy with the angle, go into Transform rotate and grab one of the corners and rotate it around to the angle that you're happy with and then either click the arrow which will lock it into place or enter. We're going to get rid of that blue guideline since we don't need it anymore. So we're going to go into view and then extras. Now if you hit control H that will also reveal or get rid of guidelines, rule lines, uh, anything you want to see or not see over your image. So now that we did that, we want to basically go to view and then hit fit on screen. This will enlarge the faces to work on. Now we're going to start organizing. So we're going to rename the folder with the faces on it. We're going to call it New. And then we're going to click the layer mask next to Miley. When we click on the layer mask, we're going to click on Control, and that creates a selection around the image. and then we click Control J and what that does is that it cuts out Miley, cuts out the image and places it directly above that file which you'll see and then we're going to drag that image and move it above the folder new. We're going to do the same thing with Taylor. We're going to first hit control as we click on the layer mask next to Taylor to create a selection around it and then click control J. Then we're going to move that above the new folder. Now we're going to click the New Group button. That creates a group. We're going to rename it Taylor. 
and then we're going to move the Taylor image into that folder. We're going to make a duplicate of the Taylor photo and then another one. Now at this point if we click on the top and bottom thumbnails while holding down the shift key it grabs all three thumbnails so you can drop it down into the new layer icon and then you just close the folder up. We're going to do the same thing with Miley. We're going to go down to the new group icon and click it. We're going to click on the new group folder and type in Miley. And then we're going to duplicate the Miley photos. We're going to drag in the photos into the new layer icon and then click the top bottom thumbnails, hold down the shift and drag it down to the new layer icon. Now we have six and we're just going to close the folder. Please check out the actual meld of Miley and Taylor on my YouTube channel, Blue Lightning TV. And thanks for watching.